Hey Taurus, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and these are your deep thoughts for the month of May 2019. All right, this is a big one, so get you something to drink, put your feet up, sit back, go to a quiet room, and um, I'll wait, hit pause, I'll wait, come on back, and we'll start this reading. All righty, so preface this with saying that this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, and your astrological chart is huge, if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this may or may not resonate with you. A general reading, this is the general feel of the sign of Taurus for this particular time in space, right? This is a general feel for Taurus. Do not plan your life on a general reading. Do not gain false hope from a general reading and don't depend on a general reading. If you see anything in this reading that you would like more clarity about, or if you would like a reading for you, just for you, just for your situation, contact your favorite tarot card reader and uh, schedule a personal reading. If you would like a reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a special link in the box below just for YouTube subscribers so you can get the $50 hookup. What else? All right. So this is a big one. You guys ready? All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> so we start this reading with the wheel. Well, first of all, first of all, hold up. When I was shuffling, this death card kept trying to come out, kept trying to come out, kept trying to come out, right? So it finally flew out of the deck. So, you know, me being not as bright as the spirit, <laughs> figured that they were trying to tell me something. So I took it out and put it as the overall energy of this entire reading. Okay. So the death card, the card of Scorpio may mean something, may not, is the overall energy. This is about endings, change, transformation, and transition in your life. What was on the bottom of the deck was the Queen of Swords. This is all about making decisions. Quick thinking, organized, perceptive, independent, clear thinker, intellectual power. It's about making decisions in your life. So the overall theme of this reading, and I'm going to tell you right now, this is a love reading. This is a straight up solid as a motherfucker love reading, okay? So the overall energy of this reading is endings, change, transformations, and decisions being made. So we open this reading, my Taurus tribe, with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, normally, I would say that this is a turning point in your destiny, which it very well is a turning point in your destiny. But I think this is more about karma. This card is about good luck, karma, life cycles, your destiny, and turning points in your lives, right? It's also about bad luck, resistance to change and breaking cycles, but that's a whole nother reading. That's not this reading. This wheel right here that we open this reading with is about karmic justice, This wheel starts spinning because of some action oriented communication that comes into you about the manifestation of a brand new prosperous beginning in your life. Could be financial. If I read this reading as a love reading and it fits for you in any other capacity, by all means, please apply it. Right? And also remember that you have the power to intervene or divert anywhere in a reading, even a personal reading, right? If, you, if, if things are coming out and you're like, oh, no, I don't want that to happen, you can take action to guide the reaction of other people, right? So anyway, so there's some karmic justice. This wheel starts spinning when some communication comes into you that requires action on your part about the manifestation of a brand new opportunity in your life. So this creates 
a huge freaking tower moment. Like what, 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 what blows up on you, right? Just blows up on you. It's like, what the heck is going on in my life? Because this message, this communication that came into you is about an inspired, powerful, creative new beginning in your life. To the emperor could be coming from some type of authority figure, some type of older figure, or this message of an inspired new beginning that just completely and totally creates an explosion in your life could be about the authority, the establishment, the structure of your life. Page of Cups says that this is a message of a creative new beginning for you, my dear Taurus. Two of Swords to the Nine of Swords. Massive meltdown, right? Massive meltdown. Being Taurus, I'm sure it's in private, but nevertheless, a massive meltdown. Two of Swords, indecisions, confusion, information overload. Nine of Swords, intense anxiety, despair, maybe reflection on a painful lesson from the past, just, just, compl just despair, right? You're like, oh my fuck, what is going on here? What just happened? Clarified by the six of pentacles, who it is that you give and receive with on a daily basis. The eight of pentacles, engaging in something to build something of significance, to the Nine of Cups. I can't make this up. To the Nine of Cups. Happiness and values alignment in your life, in the situation. Here's your karmic justice. <clears throat> justice is showing her face here. The scales have justice, of justice have turned in your favor. There is fairness, truth, cause and effect, and karmic law unfolding in your life right here. Unfolding, I mean, like, just like blowing up. There is karmic law blowing up in your life right now. And thank God you're on the good side of that, right? You don't want karmic law blowing up in your life on the bad side. That's for damn sure. You don't want that. So, this justice is all about the princess of pentacles. This justice is about manifesting. You have manifested this into your life somehow, some way. You have brought this to you. This four of pentacles comes in and says, you have the upper hand in this situation. You have the upper hand in this situation and you um, are very much in control of the way that things turn out here. Hence the Queen of Swords. Nine of Cups comes in and says, yes, this is a wish fulfilled. This is a wish fulfilled. Now what do we got? Well, 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 well. What we have, ladies and gentlemen, is the Six of Cups. Somebody, the source of this communication, wants to reunite or reconcile a relationship. This hottie, hot, hottie that really, really stirs your feelings deeply, if you know what I mean, wants collaboration. You... Taurus, as the queen of pentacles, he wants, it wants, okay? She, he, it, doesn't matter. I'm, I'm a girl, so I automatically go to, to the masculine, right? So not that I'm a girl that I go to the masculine, but I like dudes, so I automatically go to the masculine, right? Okay, sorry about that. Could be anybody. But they want you, Taurus, as the queen of cups, and this could have very well have been the king of cups, okay? That's what they're after, and there is Taurus considering if this relationship has hope, if there's any faith that there can be 
renewal here. That's where this Nine of Swords and this Two of Swords come from. That's what you are processing right here because this person from the past who wants to reunite or reconcile with you, this devilishly delicious person from your past, wants collaboration with the Taurus. And there's the Taurus being blown away, contemplating hope, faith, purpose, or renewal of this entire relationship. That's where the Two of Swords comes from and the Nine of Swords. This person wants the Ten of Pentacles with you, Taurus. They want to build a solid foundation. They want to create a life with you in a unified love partnership. Holy schmoly, right? Holy schmoly. <clears throat> they have brought forth passionate messages that have brought a culmination to a situation from the past because there is reuniting and reconciling, which means that you guys had something together in the past. These passionate messages that come in bring the whole situation to a culmination because some serious truth is spoken about this situation about their feels, about what happened in the past, about what they want in the future. Some serious truth. Somebody is just laying it on the line and, and giving you some serious truth. That's the tower moment right there. That's that communication coming in with the Knight of Swords. That's the tower moment. It's like, what? <laughs> Six of Wands comes in and says, public recognition, victory, progress, and self-confidence. Public recognition being that now you understand because it was told to you, it was communicated to you what's going on here. Now you can recognize and it's been publicly admitted, not necessarily, I don't want to say admitted because I don't know if anything went wrong, right? But publicly spoken of what is wanted, what happened in the past, why, and all of that good stuff. Serious freaking truth is spoken, right? Right. Success, public recognition, victory, progress in the situation. So that leaves you, I don't know if y'all can see this or not. Let's see. Can you see that? Yep. You can see that a little bit. So that leaves you in the energy of the nine of wands, right? Feeling rather challenged. <laughs> A little bit guarded and a lot overwhelmed, right? Ten of Wands comes in and says, this is a struggle. This is a burden, a struggle for you because with the Three of Wands, you were not prepared for this. You were not prepared for this, um, this, this, this proclamation of feels with the Queen of Cups. And now you're just confused as hell, right? Confused as hell. Lots of anxiety and don't really know what you want to do about the situation. It affects your empressness, right? You're not really sure. You, you don't know how you feel about, about building with this person. Because it's all like he came out of nowhere, right? This knight right here, look, he comes out of nowhere. I mean, he's just like, whoosh, he, he's, he's like all in, right? Somebody spills their guts to you, Taurus, spills their guts to you. And as you're wading through the muck and the mire, you're just totally in shock of what is happening right here. Maintaining your composure, though, with this Empress card, maintaining your composure and and really just 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 sitting in the moment for a second but feeling very very vindicated because this is Taurus right here going I told you I told you I'm the empress I told you I don't play I don't play games and you either come to me as the empress or you can just fuck off take it someplace else because with the energy of the queen of swords I ain't taking nothing, right? I'm making decisions for me and mine 
And, and if you're not going to bring to the table what you need to bring to the table, I'm not going to engage with you. And I just kind of get that feeling that's perhaps maybe that's what happened in the past is that if you're not going to bring to the table all of this right here, then I don't, I don't, I don't want anything to do with you because I know what I want. I'm a Taurus. I want foundation and security and abundance in my life and, and playing games or, or not coming to me straight muddies the water and it takes too much effort, quite frankly, to sift the dirt out of, out of the pure water. It just really does. Not interested in taking the time to figure out what the hell is going on. You either come to me straight or you don't come to me at all. That's the attitude of the empress, right? That, and, and, and now that's happened and the empress is being empressy, right? She's just like, all right, all righty then. Let's just think about this. The Ten of Cups, this whole thing right here fills you with happiness. It truly does. It brings harmony and happiness into your life. The Two of Wands comes in. Two of Wands comes in and talks about progress and decisions and discovery, right? Discovery, I think, is being the operative word here because it's followed by the Eight of Swords. You're trying to discover the Knight of Cups, how you feel about this person. You're trying to, to discover how you really feel, right? Do you want to share your feels with this person? Do you don't want to share your feels with this person? Because you didn't expect it to come on so strong, right? You guys may have even been talking a little bit, or maybe you've never quit talking. Maybe you've always been friends, right? But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this person just vomits their feelings all over the place. And you're like, whoa, bro, <laughs> hold up just a second. Let me step back into my empress mode right here and, and get zen on this whole thing. So that's what you're doing. You're getting Zen in that Eight of Swords, right? I mean, it's a tumultuous thing, but it's a very productive energy. It's very productive, even though, even though, sorry, even though you're caught up in your head, right? Even though you can't really see which direction to go in because you're overthinking, maybe not even overthinking, but thinking things a lot. It's a very productive energy to be in, even though you're stagnant while you're there. Well, you're trying to think about what you're going to do with this, with this, um, with your feels right here, right? I hope y'all can see these with your feels. So princess of swords comes in says that while you're in this eight of swords right here, thinking about how you feel, um, you are formulating, you're plotting, you're planning, you're in the, you're in the process of decision making right here, right? In the process of making a decision about how you feel with the King of Cups, right? About this King of Wands from your past, this fiery, devilishly delicious individual with whom you used to have feels, but you tucked those feels away and now you're being forced to readdress those feels, right? This fiery, passionate King of Wands guy right here. The guy, because he's a king, okay? King of Swords comes in and says that you are making decisions right here. You're making decisions. Remember, you are formulating um, with the eight of swords, and then you started to actually, you know, materialize decisions with the princess of swords. Now here you are making a decision. It's interesting to me that we have three kings. We have the king of cups, the king of wands, and the king of swords, right? I don't know why. Interesting. So there you go. So you're, you're, you're executing a decision right here. This decision with the two of wands is, is about again, more discovery, right? Discovery, planning for your future, thinking about how you're going to go about doing this. So this decision that you're making is about planning for your future. The moon card comes in and says, or the decision is that you're going to plan your future 
um, immediate future at least based on what just happened right here. The moon card comes in this time saying that you have reached down into your subconscious mind, your intuition, and you're releasing your fears and you're dealing with your repressed emotions. This results in the chariot. The decision that you're making right here is to take action forward. Into that wheel of fortune, karmic law, karmic law, and end cap, you know, book bookends right here, karmic law, karmic law. So you are going to jump on this wheel right here and see where it takes you. The Four of Cups comes in and says that you don't want to miss this opportunity. You don't want to miss this opportunity. Death comes in and says that there is an ending, a change. There's an ending to the way things used to be. The way things used to be is that you felt some betrayal and some deception in this whole thing here, which is why we are reuniting and reconciling because some shit went down in the past, right? So there is an ending to that energy, right? And there is a breaking free of the mental challenges associated with it, which is what you're going through right here and right here and right here, right? Mental challenges. <clears throat> There's going to be a transformation of this relationship into the Six of Wands. Victory, progress, maybe even public recognition, right? The Page of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new opportunity. The Sun card, success, vitality, optimism. To the Seven of Cups, this wishful thinking about this person from your past is materializing and you're moving towards it. It's success and judgment. Judgment comes in and says there is a rebirth of this relationship. A rebirth of this relationship. That is amazing, Taurus. That is amazing. Wow. And you know, this kind of goes back to a couple readings ago. A couple readings ago about, um, about wanting to reunite and reconcile. I forget exactly what it was, but I know it's associated, it's attached to the reading. I think it was maybe like three or four readings back, I think it was. Three or four readings back. Eh. All right. All right, you guys, that is your reading. That was, um, that was awesome. If it resonates, phenomenal. If you want more clarification, understanding, confirmation, I am at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a special link for you guys in the box that will take you to a site where you can get a $50 reading just for you, just for your situation. Alrighty, Taurus. Wow, that's awesome. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch this video because that's pretty cool. There you go. Namaste, my friends.